Hey, welcome back to another edition of Baby Face Brew Review. My name is Alex. I'll be walking you guys and gals through this review for the next few moments here today. As you can see by the bottle in front of me, it's a very, very special day, December 1st, and that marks the release of Canadian Breakfast Stout by Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I am so stoked, if you can't already tell by the tone and inflection of my voice, to be here with you guys and gals. Um, I have never had this beer. This has always kind of been, you know, my white elephant or, or, or white buffalo, whatever whatever you want to call that, um, just eluded me on draft. And uh, from what I saw on the website here at founders.com, um, that they haven't bottled this since 2011. So I don't know how much validity there is to that. I would think that it was you could take that at face value because it's from their website. Um, I've seen other people check it in on tap from before, but I, I've never really seen it uh, in bottles. So very, very excited um, to be drinking and reviewing this with you guys and gals, one of the most highly acclaimed beers on Untapped and Beer Advocate. Getting into those accolades real quick, 4.68 out of 5 on Beer Advocate, putting into that world-class category. And then from Untapped, we're looking at 4.7 out of 5 caps. I've never seen a beer um, rated that high. I've never had a beer rated that high, not even the Bourbon Counties. I mean, I haven't been able to have, like, Julius or King Julius, anything like that. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't know what a 4.7 beer tastes like, um, but I could only imagine. So just, you know, obviously the backstory of this beer aged in bourbon barrels that previously contained maple syrup. Um, there's a lot of hype surrounding this. We'll see how much of that hype lives up. I feel like it's, it's, it's going to be a solid amount. Um, getting into the specs of the beer, 11.7% alcohol by volume. I don't have an IBU content. No further information actually from their website either on really the base beer or anything like that. I mean, obviously we know it's Kentucky Breakfast Stout, um, KBS, that's been aged in bourbon barrels containing maple syrup, kind of differentiating that. So 11.7% alcohol by volume. My mouth's watering. It's been a long, long day. Um, I said I wasn't going to do any reviews for a little bit, um, but I forgot that this actually came out, so I am I am going to do this review. I, I can't even. I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to finish this bottle. I'm going to have to figure out a way to preserve it for like tomorrow or the or the day after. See if my dad wants some because this is just this is too much. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a friend to split it with, but I will not be drinking all of this right now. Figure out something there. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's crack the cap and see what's going on here. The fr founders CBS Canadian Breakfast Stout, and actually this ran twenty four ninety nine for the bottle. Really expensive. Um, but you know, with the hype surrounding this, there's probably a good reason for that. Honestly, too, I went, I called four different stores. They were sold out. One of them had it, um, and they had, um, you know, like, th like five or six bottles left. And I actually had my friend from work go pick it up for me. Um, so shout out to you, Matt, for grabbing that because I would have not been able to, to have this elsewise. Uh, really aggressive pour on my behalf. I apologize, but beautiful looking mocha head, very tightly come back compact bubbles here at the bottom, getting a little more soap suds at the top, but just pouring kind of like KBS, just beautiful, beautiful look here in terms of the of the head, very mocha, frothy, uh, jet black down here, no light getting through that whatsoever, um, yeah, just like an obsidian kind of jet black there, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking beer, let's get into a smell and aroma on this bad boy. Oh my god, it's majestic. I mean, seriously, it's toasted, it's toasted, you know, caramel, roasted barley, getting huge amounts of coffee just billowing out of the glass here. Yeah, roasted like espresso, almost like a, kind of like a baker's chocolate. There's milk chocolate in there for sure. Vanilla, oak, that bourbon barrel coming through beautifully. Really rich and complex. Getting a little bit of maple syrup, not as much as I anticipated. Yeah, but some of that maple syrup is coming through. Wow. I mean, look at that head, too. I know I swirled it around, but the retention is amazing on there. A little bit of glass lacing towards the top. Excellent, excellent stuff. All right, it's time. Cheers, pro, serve the hell you want to call it. This is the Canadian Breakfast Stout CBS by Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, it's just...
There's no words. It's so awesome. Wow. I have to put it down. <laughs> wow, it's it's awesome. Up front, I get huge, huge roasted, like, roasted coffee, espresso notes. I get really, really, like, milk, dark chocolate, almost like a chocolate kind of bitterness coming out as well. Middle of the mouth uh, is where it starts to get interesting. I get more of that bourbon, the oak, a little bit of smoke even as well from that barrel char. Um, and then on the back end, that's when the maple syrup pops up. And I look at my lips and it's got this maple syrup that's been kind of coating the palate. Uh, so with, with that said, you get the maple syrup and then that coffee, chocolate, um, you know, that, that coffee bitterness, a little bit of that chocolate kind of rides through on the back end and pops up, kind of leveling out some of the sweetness um, from the chocolate and the, the, the bourbon and the maple syrup middle of the mouth. It's absolutely fantastic. It might not be cold enough. No, it's, actually, it's spot on. Yeah, wow. And you know what? That's not even the best part. It's, it's really nicely balanced, too. Alcohol, I can feel a little warming in the chest, but it's pretty well hidden for the most part. Um, and as I'm talking to you, look at the head retention. Absolutely amazing. Um, the mouthfeel is exceptional. It's just velvety smooth. Just like you would look at this beer, you'd be like, that's just got a, just a gorgeous feel to it throughout. And it, it really does. It's silky smooth. It's delicate. There's a slight prickle there of carbonation, which is perfect for, for this style. Very creamy. Um, the maple syrup and the chocolate really dance really well together. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice harmony that Founders is formed within this beer, co just coating the palate, um, everything kind of just, you know, it's smooth, and it, I wouldn't say it's a little sticky, but it's not cloningly sweet either, um, it's it's really, really well done, and as you can see, all the praise and whatnot, I'm really, really geeking out over this beer, I just love KBS so much, I really do, you know, I love, I love High West, I love, you know, Imperial Coffee Stout by Logging, I love Bourbon County Stout, um, I, you know, I like Kentucky Dark Star by Fremont, but I really, there's a special place in my heart for, for KDS with just the chocolate and coffee add something to an Imperial Stout, and then you put the, you know, the bourbon barrel, it just brings it all together in a cohesive, um, you know, just a cohesive balance. It's awesome. So for this, you know, add maple syrup, I think it's such a cool idea. And I, you know, I wish this beer was more readily available, obviously, you know, being sold out, getting in at nine o'clock and it's sold out by 11. It's almost, it's Goose Island type stuff. It's Bourbon County. You know, I, I was surprised. I, Bourbon County's still in the stores. I mean, not the variants, but anyway, I, I digress. As for grade, I'm going to give this a 98 out of 100. I think it is a world-class beer. I think it does live up to the hype. If you like KBS, you will love this beer. I guarantee it. I think it's really well done. It's not overly sweet. It's well-balanced. It's delicate. It's just an excellent, excellent drinking, well-crafted beer by Founders. But that's not what matters. What matters is what you guys and gals think. So you can let me know by leaving that all below in the comments section down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you find it? What happened? Let me know. Leave it all below. I love going back and forth with you guys. I love hearing what beers I should review next. You can let me know by leaving all that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and as always. And until next time, cheers pros. We'll see you all again on Babyface Brew Review.